Hey what's up this is Damon's Tech here with a quick tutorial on how to set up a Windows Minecraft server. Now this is really a follow on from my last video, how to set up a Mac Minecraft server and in that video I said that the Windows method is a lot easier than the Mac method because the Mac method requires a lot of extra files and a lot of extra setup before you can actually even start the server. So the Windows method all we need is just the executable file that we download from Mojang and that just starts up as is, no configuration needed. So uh, really the hardest part of this tutorial is just making sure you have the latest version of Java. <laughs> So this shouldn't take too long at all, the first thing we're going to do is make sure we have the latest version of Java installed. And to do that, all we have to do is just press and hold the Windows key and press OR to open up the run command. Once that opens, you're going to type in CMD and hit enter. When the command prompt window opens, you're going to type in Java space dash version and hit enter. And you should see version Java version 1.6 or 1.7. And if you see that you're ready to go, you can skip to the next step by clicking this annotation right here uh, because you have the latest version installed. But if you don't get this, if you get an error instead, you can follow my instructions here to get the latest version of Java. So if you get an error at this stage, you probably have a version of Java less than 1.6. So I'm going to show you guys now how to install the latest version. So go to the Java download page that I'll give you guys a link to down below. And on that page you're going to download the 32-bit or 64-bit version for Windows, depending on which version of Windows you have, 32-bit or 64-bit. Download and install that. And once you install it, you're going to check in the command prompt window again, Java space dash version. Hit enter and check and see if your version 1.6 or 1.7. And if that comes up, you're ready to go, we can install the Minecraft server. If it doesn't, if you're still getting errors, I'll give you guys a little extra tutorial in the description. Check that out and that should solve your problem. So once you have the right version of Java installed, you're going to go to the Minecraft website and download the server.exe file. So I'll give you guys a link to this page down below. And underneath Play Minecraft, just click Download. And on the download page, click Minecraft server.exe. Don't run it, but save it to your desktop instead. So here's the Minecraft server file on my desktop. Just right click anywhere and click New Folder. Create the new folder and just call it Minecraft Server. Drag the server file into the folder and open up the folder. Then you're going to double click the Minecraft server file to open it and click run if it asks you. The first time it runs it's going to give you a few warnings. These are okay. It's just going to create the new files for the server and it'll prepare the spawn area for the first time. So just wait for this to finish. It'll say done when it's finished as you can see it has. So to stop the server just type in stop down here and hit enter. It'll save the chunks and stop the server. So the server has stopped and as you can see we have a lot of new files in our folder so I'm just going to go through these really quickly. So this is the world file which is basically the saved game that was created when you started up the server the first time and you can delete this and it will be recreated when you start up the server again. You can also change the name of that world in the server.properties file which I'll talk about in a sec. So these two are banned IPs and banned players. Basically you can add usernames to this file or IP addresses to this file to ban people from your server. Make sure you add your own username to the ops file which is basically operators. So I'll just type in my own username in here and just close that window and save it. And that'll make you an operator or an administrator of the server so you can have control over everything. So this is just the server log, you don't need to mind that. But this is the whitelist which you'll add usernames to if you're going to use a whitelist for your server. So just close this down and finally open up the server.properties file which is where you'll change all the options for your server. So there are a lot of options in here for you to customise, but I'm not going to go through all these now because it'll take too long. So I'll give you guys a link to the page on the Minecraft wiki which explains exactly what the server.properties file does. So that is how to set up a Windows Minecraft server. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you click subscribe for more. And uh, do note though that this method does not work for people trying to connect to your Minecraft server from outside your own local network. You need to set up port forwarding on your router first, which basically opens up a port on your computer to the public internet so your friends can connect in. So don't worry, that's not a security risk, but it is needed to uh, connect friends across the internet to your server. That is a completely separate tutorial, so I will have that up pretty soon up on my channel. So make sure you click subscribe to be notified when I upload that. So thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.